what is Google Consent Mode, what it does, how you can implement it for Google Analytics and Google Ads Tag, and how it relates to GDPR and other consent uh, laws. First of all, Consent Mode it's a simple feature that allows us website owners to send some uh, information to Google, informing Google about a user consent. So we have two values, granted or denied. When consent is denied, Google will not set up cookies on that browser and will not use existing cookies except for fraud prevention. If consent is allowed, Google will set up cookies and use them to track uh, all sorts of data about that particular user. Now, uh, if you use Pixel Your Site to manage your tags and Consent Magic to manage user consent, it's a very uh, simple thing to configure Google Consent Mode. Simply go to Pixel, not Pixel Your Site, Consent Magic. So this is Pixel Your Site. Uh, Google Analytics is installed here and Google Ads Tag is installed here. But you need to go to Pixel Your uh, to Constant Magic, open settings, and turn off these options. Use Google Analytics Constant Mode and use Google Ads Constant Mode. If you do this, instead of blocking uh, those two tags when consent is not given, we will send events but with consent mode denied. Now we'll show you exactly how it works and it's a very very simple thing. Let me open Tag Assistant, visit no site here. This is my testing domain that doesn't really exist, don't go there. And as you can see, I have a consent message. It informs me about um, tracking. I have options. I can do a lot of stuff. But for now, I will not yet grant my permission. So in this case, if consent mode is turned on for Google Analytics and Google Ads, I will see some events here. And I do. But consent will be denied. So Google knows that I didn't um, express my consent yet. Now, I'm a good guy. I don't mind being tracked, so I say allow all. And now consent will be updated to granted. Granted. So now Google tracks more data about me and everything works great. The question is, should you use such a feature? I don't have a definitive answer because uh, I see the advantages here. Google will still get some data even if there is no consent, which is fine. However, under GDPR, we as business owners have obligations. We need to inform users before tracking them. In this case, when constant mode is used, what we do is we track them, we send the data to a third party, which is Google, and we uh, rely on that third party to respect privacy um, options for a particular visitor. So do we fulfill our obligations here? Actually, I don't know. And because I don't know, I decided to uh, maintain the default um, setup to not use constant mode. If you want, you can enable constant mode, enable constant mode uh, inside constant magic plugin. Uh, my view, hmm, I, I really don't know, I really don't. I like the idea of being able to track some data uh, while respecting the user privacy, but I'm not so sure that if you are very strict with GDPR um, demands, such an approach is viable. Maybe it is. I'm not an expert and I'm not here to give you legal advice. I'm just showing you some uh, possibilities and uh, 
the option it's yours so you can configure now constant magic to use google constant mode instead of blocking um, the tag completely so google analytics is definitely an interesting feature and i'm glad that now pixel your site and constant magic have the ability to implement it and it's not a very complicated stuff to implement it um, you can decide to use it just for one of the tags for uh, google analytics or just for google ads because as you saw the options are separate and uh, you can enable just one of the two uh, it's your call so uh, what i'm going to do hmm, for some of my websites i will keep blocking uh, the tags if there is no consent and for some of my websites i will use uh, constant mode uh, don't ask me why I, I just want to see how things work for a while um, now if you like this video or even if you didn't like it uh, share subscribe uh, thumbs up it will really really help me to fulfill my secret dream of becoming a youtube celebrity that's what i want to do instead of uh, developing wordpress plugins i want to be a youtube celebrity i know i don't uh, make the right type of videos but hey with your help maybe i will make it thank you